So this is just going to be a quick video where we go through some examples of integration, just the, the rules we learned in the last video. Um, so this question we have in front of us here, uh, we can't integrate it straight away. So if we were differentiating it, we'd probably use the quotient rule, because there's a the top and there's the bottom. Um, but there's no quotient rule, or chain rule, or product rule, or anything like that for integration. Okay, So you have to make sure it's as simple as possible. So we have to simplify this first before we integrate it. Okay, So uh, I'll carry on and do that. So I'm going to factorize the top to make it look like this, x squared minus four, and then the bottom is just gonna stay as x, and then the dx stays the same, okay? Now that x and that x are gonna cancel, which I'll do in green, yeah? Uh, and then I'll continue in blue, so that means that's gonna be the integration of x squared minus four dx, and that should be okay, that's just gonna be x cubed over three minus 4x plus c, okay? So just to go through that again, just make sure you have to simplify things first before you start to integrate them. You, you basically can't integrate that um, in the form that it is. So you have to simplify it first, make it nice and simple like this, and then it's just the basic integration, okay? So the second example we're gonna do is just this one in the orange there, I just wrote that. Uh, so I'll scroll down, okay. Uh, and it's the same thing here. So we can't integrate all of this straight away because they're not in a form that's easy to integrate, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite this uh, and simplify it so it's easier to integrate. And I'll stick with orange. So the x cubed is gonna stay as the x cubed, okay? This we're gonna to have to write using indices, so that's gonna be x to the power of minus two, okay? Because whenever you have x to the power of minus two, that's just one over, say, x squared. If it's to the power of minus one, then it's just one over x, and so on. So that would be an indices back in algebra, if you wanna watch our videos on that, uh, about why we put that minus in there. And then if you remember for the square root, there's an indices as well, and it's gonna be the power of a half, okay? Uh, and it's not multiplied by a half, the power of a half, so again, you can go over indices if you wanna do that. But that's how we're gonna, once it's in this form here, then it's fine to integrate, but you just can't integrate it straight away like that, okay? Um, so I'll go ahead and integrate this. So this first one is gonna be, actually I'll go change color, I'll go purple. This first one is gonna be x to the power of four over four, okay? This one here, so it's going to be x to the power of minus two plus one divided by minus two plus one, okay? So if you can do that in your head, great, but sometimes it can be really confusing about what goes on top, what goes on the bottom, so it's almost easier just to write it out really, really slowly uh, to go to the back to the kind of basic rule, okay? Uh, and I'll do the same with this one here. This is gonna be, so if you wanna integrate this, it's gonna be the power of a half plus one divided by a half plus one, okay? And then there's gonna be our plus C as well. Let me just scroll down here and we'll continue on. So X to the power of four over four, that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna have plus, this is X to the power of minus one over minus one. And this one here is gonna be X to the power of three over two over three over two, okay? Uh, and that, again, x to the power of four over four. Okay, so this here, actually, let me get rid of that. Uh, we're not gonna say plus. So x to the power of minus one, like the same rows up here, that's just going to be one over x, okay? And then minus one multiplied by one over x, basically we're gonna have minus one over x as our answer for that, okay? Uh, this one here, again, is gonna be a little bit tricky as well. So I'm gonna keep it in the three over two, but what to do with this fraction here? So we have, in some of the videos, we have examples. If you have a, a fraction over a fraction, or even, in this case, just x over a fraction, what you can do is, instead of saying x divided by three over two, it's basically flips to two x, sorry, two x to the power of three over two over three. So if you see there, that three over two, basically flips like that, okay? Uh, and that's because you're dividing by a fraction, so that's back in algebra if you wanna watch some of those videos on dealing with algebraic fractions. Um, and that's your answer there, basically. Oh, and then the plus C as well, like, don't forget that. Okay, so that's just showing you how to do kind of more complicated things using integration, but it's still the same, the same trick here. It's always just the plus one and then the plus one on the bottom as well, but it's just you have to change it sometimes before you start to integrate it. And it's the same with this one here. You're gonna have to simplify it before you integrate it, okay? Um, so in the next video, we're just gonna look at more rules of integration to do with 
um, e to the power of x and stuff like that. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed it.